Hey everybody, uh, we're here at number one Alexandria Boulevard in uh, Sanctuary Waters Estate, Canning Vale. Um, now, as you're probably aware, Sanctuary Waters Estate is probably one of the uh, premium estates in, in the area. Um, being um, a, a situation where it's number one Alexandria, it's quite an interesting setup because Alexandria Boulevard actually runs across there. Um, and then you've got this little street here with only two houses on it that you can't get through. And no, no, no one across the road directly facing you. So really sort of quiet and um, sort of a bit tucked away. Uh, the beauty of it as well is you've actually got the walking distance to the shop, like literally across the road, which is IGA and uh, that little part there. Also Zarafa's coffee shop out the front, which makes a really great coffee. Um, the other thing as well is if you go down Alexandria that way, um, probably only maybe a couple hundred metres down the road, there is the Sanctuary Waters uh, park or lake there, which is probably one of the, out of all the states, estates in Canningvale, it's probably one of the nicer, nicer lakes. I was actually out there this morning uh, walking my dogs and it was beautiful to see this time of the year, um, all the little baby ducklings sort of walking around and, and stuff like that. So um, yeah, really beautiful to go down there. Lots of people walking their dogs and having early morning walks, etc. Um, but this is the home that we're sort of talking about today. So um, we're going to go through, Wade. Did you want to take us through, show yeah. us what we've got here? Walk through and we'll yeah. see what we've got. Great. So as we walk up, we've got some brick paving, nice little low maintenance garden beds, and then nice green grass that yep. goes all the way around to the corner. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, as you walk in, you do have a double garage with roller shutters that have been added onto the side here. Mm. Very nice to have these open up, they stay down. So if you want that extra space, if you need to chuck extra stuff in there, leave them open. If you need to come down, keep Just them down. Just gives great access, doesn't it? To exactly. it? Yeah, no, it's a fantastic exactly. idea. Yeah. You do have um, roller shutters at the front all the way across as well. So yep. nice privacy, yep. noise, everything like that. Chuck them straight yeah. down. And this area through here looks really nice, nice low maintenance as it well. Is, yeah, it's really you've got your nice fountain there as well. Yeah. If you wanted to pop a few plants in there mm. to dress it up, you mm. could do that as well. It'd be quite nice. Oh, for oh. sure. Yeah, beautiful. We'll head through. Nice brick as well. Yeah, it's interesting sort yeah. of, um, it's like more like a limestone block, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, which is nice. All right, so as we head through, we've got your entryway, nice open plan living. So here you could treat it as, I'd say like a study extra activity area, games room, because you do have a separate dining area and separate family room area. Mm. So I'd say, yeah, maybe study here, couch, TV, kind of whatever you really wanted. Yeah. You've got your feature I'm lights. I'm seeing a lot of people as well with these sort of, um, this era of home, because obviously Sanctuary Waters was mm. one of the original estates. Mm. Um, so they did have that sort of formal lounge dining sort of setup, which not a lot of people are using. Mm. But what I'm seeing a lot of is where people are putting like a stud wall through here yeah. with maybe a sliding doors and then you got yourself a theatre yeah, which wasn't off. a thing of, mm -hmm. of the time. Especially with the roller shows there you can make it yeah. nice and dark as well. Yeah. So you could create it really easy, really cheap create a theatre yeah. here if you wanted to. Yeah. Cool, we'll head through to the um, master bedroom. So only right, right from the entry you've got a massive master bedroom mm. so it's a bit of a unique design where it's you chuck your bed there or even in the corner here but you've still got all the space going across yeah. so you could do like couches even, yeah. you can do anything. Like a parents retreat sort of area, mm -hmm. or if you if you work at home, I suppose you could have a desk and, exactly. and that if you wanted to. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you've got your blackout curtains as well, and then your yeah. normal just like, where the shades we call them? Yeah, so dual, so dual blinds. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so then you've still got, you got the roller shutters, yeah. like we mentioned before. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Uh, quite a big size walk-in robe uh, with plenty of storage, so you wouldn't have any issues with that. Mm. Right across through that. Yeah. And then you do have an ensuite. So on suite's got your single vanity, uh, you got a shower with a good shower head, you got some blinds in there, and you do have a separate toilet as well. We'll head through. So you got a nice hallway here. Um, do you want to do the kitchen and stuff first or head through to the back? Um, yeah, we'll do, do the minor bedrooms minor and we'll come through to come through, come through, through yeah. this space. Yeah. Sure. Walk through. So this is your first minor bedroom. Uh, you've got the nice carpet in there. You've got blinds with a good little view of the backyard. Feature line, you do have built-in robe straight through as well. Kind of like this, the little bay window here. Yeah. See so straight through. Yeah. Mm. I suppose if you've got, um, well, it's got blinds on it, so you it can does. block it out if yeah. you want, if you don't want that, mm. uh, if you want that privacy in the room here. But also good if you've got um, young kids and they're using yeah. this space as a study space as well. Straight you can through. watch from the kitchen mm. and things like that. Yeah. I think that's handy. Handy. I'm through. So you got another minor bedroom. Uh, this one is quite big, so you can easily fit queen with a tall boy. You do have a split system as well, uh, which is very nice to have. Um, 
your walk-in robe, which is straight through there. Again, very good size, it goes right in. Yeah. And yeah, you've still got the carpet. Yeah, and the double double shelving rails mm. there as well, which mm. is great. Nice little blackout curtains as well. Yeah, yeah. So you've got you know, you've got behind that you've got your blinds, um, but you've also got those curtains. blackout curtains yeah. over the top, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, nice little oyster pendant lighting. Yeah. yeah. And then your fourth bedroom. Yep. This one, if you think, same as the other one, you've got your built-in robe, carpet, your feature light. Mm. Something very unique about this one yeah, is you do is. have access to the backyard straight from here. Yeah, it's nice. always very nice. Yeah. yeah. You've got yeah. your security screen as well. Yeah. That's right. Mm. And even if you've got, um, you know, I suppose teenage kids and stuff like that, or older kids that maybe are going out in the evenings mm. and you know them coming through the home late at night when they get home, the they can come through here. Um, also would make a great, like a lot of people running businesses from home, like uh, beauticians mm. and hairdressers and, and things like that. Cut this would across. be great that yeah. someone come through and straighten yeah. this room and use 100%. that. So really good multiple, multiple use room. Yeah. Sure. We're through to the bathroom. So you do on the left here, you have a separate toilet, which is nice, not inside the bathroom. Uh, as you walk through, you've got the minor bathroom. So you've got a bathtub, you've got your blinds, Good size shower, and you got a single vanity with a bit of storage underneath. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's head through to the kitchen area, eh? So this could be your meals, I'd say. Yeah, uh, you've got the right. nice light down here, yep. you get a good, good size table right under there. Yep. Leads right straight to the kitchen. Yep. I reckon whatever size fridge you got there, Wade, I reckon it'll fit. Oh, uh, if you get a double. Pushing it, but nah, nah yeah. very, very massive refrigerator, so it's good to have there. Chuck it right there. Yeah. You can add some cupboards, you can put some storage, whatever you really wanted to into there. Yeah. Um, you do have quite a big oh. countertop. Yep. With a nice L shape. Yep. Double sink, you've got space for a dishwasher. Um, as you head through, you've got your five burner gas cooktop. Gas cooktop. With your range hood. You've got a good oven as well in there. Um, you've got a fridge reset, uh, microwave, microwave recess. recess. <laughs> and then you do have a pantry. Yep. Yeah. As well as having that pantry there, you've also got a bit of extra. Yeah, so you've got more storage oh, yeah. there. I guess maybe like appliances, and then you've yep. got a bigger pantry on that side there. So, so, so plenty no of storage. storage space. Yep. Yeah. You do have the laundry right off the kitchen. Um, they have put a French door here as well, which is nice. Blocks off all the noise. You've got the washing machine running or the dryer running. Yep. You've got a trough, and yep. then you've obviously got your shopper's entry. Yeah. <laughs> which leads right through to the garage yeah. yeah so the beauty i like about this as well wade is that you can as you were mentioning you can have your washing machine dryer going in mm -hmm. here but you know a lot of washing machines and dryers put off steam and stuff like that so you can have this door shut yep. have this open and you haven't got that moisture problem out. going on yeah, yeah. so well, sure. that's that's a great idea i'll right, we'll show the garage over here so as we were mentioning before uh, these are your roller shutters on the side which you can open and get closed Hmm. Whatever preference to you. Yeah. Good size, and then you've got a full massive entrance straight to the backyard. Yeah. So any boat, any caravan, you wouldn't have any issues pulling straight across. Yeah, no, it's great. And great for anybody that wants to, you know, even for your um, you know, work, work at home, um, you know, someone that's working on project cars or mm. stuff like that. Straight you down. know, you can put put a patio across there and easily mm. um run run something underneath there and then yeah. yeah. you've got your shed on the corner there as well, so yeah. even a bit more storage. Yeah, great. Through right. to the we'll family get, area yeah, we'll, we'll go through out. there and yeah. yeah, have a look outside. So, yeah, open plan of the family room. So quite a massive family room. Um, you've got multiple options with the multiple power points and where you want to put the TV. Hmm. So you can do L-shaped couch. You can do one there and block it off yeah. there to split it up a little bit. So you can really design, it's a good shape room that you can really design, design, you can design you furniture anyway. So you've got a large split yeah. system as well, yeah. so that would cover all your main living areas. Yeah. And once again, very neutral sort of colours running mm. through the home as well, so any furniture you bring into here will work well. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Oh. I do really like the exposed limestone as well. Yeah, it just adds a bit of character and feature Function to stuff. it. Um, and you think that was something that was done originally when, when the home was built, mm. and, and now it's all back in fashion, coming right? back, yeah, yeah, which is great. Yeah. All right, we'll head back to the beautiful backyard. So you do have a massive backyard back here. Very nice mm. backyard. Any pets, anything like that, you won't have any issues with. No. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think this is, uh, it, it is really good from that perspective. If you've got young children, mm. um, they've got that space to, to run around and play, which you don't see a lot in a lot of properties these mm. days. Um, as Wade just mentioned, I think pets, if you've got pets here, there's oodles of room. Mm. Um, even if you want to expand on this property and, you know, put a pool in and uh, uh, those, you've got, you got, you got, you got put a pool in here and still have oodles yeah. of room. And you so, still do have quite a nice outdoor area yeah. with the alfresco. Yeah. And I noticed, um, along here, I don't, are they for like maybe Bale shades or yeah it's already got like the cut in i guess yeah yeah so you could get a couple shale sale shades up here as well straight across <laughs> are you laughing so yeah this way? is the <laughs> alfresco under the main roof yeah uh you've got a built-in little barbecue kitchen set up which is lovely yeah nice you've got the full barbecue there yep. you've got your four burner gas cooktop yep you've got a sink and you've got yep. heaps of storage, storage right underneath. underneath there as well right so it's a very nice house to entertain with i'll tell you that yeah. much and, and looks like, um, obviously there's power and everything here. It looks like TV. a mount for your TV mm. if you want to do that. Mm. And that was that door that came off that. Straight to um, the back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you have your um, washing line on the corner here? Yep. And yeah, even though you're really close to the shops, it's there's no noise. No, there's not. Yeah. And, and I think the beauty is, is obviously you've got the Calibon fence there, but on the other side of that Calibon fence, you can see popping over the top there, you've got that hedge, yeah. um, which once would be a bit of a noise barrier, but also is giving you that extra bit of privacy correct. through there, yeah, which is correct. great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we do have a second shed as well, much yeah. bigger than the other one. So right across there on the corner. Yep. Nice and lovely. Yeah, plenty of storage there. Bit of flower beds as well if you want to do a bit of gardening. Yeah. No, very Safety. nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, good good setup, good mm. size land. Mm. Um, we've got everything here, close to the shops everywhere. Central Waters Lake. Uh, yeah. Nice and close by. Easy. All right, well, that's um, number one, Alexandria Boulevard in Canning Vale, the Sanctuary Waters Estate. Um, if this property looks like something that may be suited to you or something you may be interested in having a chat about, um, please reach out to Wade and myself um, and uh, we're always happy to have a chat. Uh, if you want to click the link below as well and just fill out um, the form there and that will basically um, yeah, notify us to get in contact with you and, and answer any of the questions. Thank, Thank you. you.